Welcome back to Strong Man Personal Finance. Am I a bully? Am I a bully boy? Bully, bully, bully. <laughs> so I keep seeing these comments that I'm a bully. I'm a big, meanie butt, poop face that just picks on people and says terrible things. And I'm just a hater, bully hater, blah, 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 blah. Well, I fervently disagree with the statement that I am a bully, that I am just wantonly, wantonly being mean to people and picking on them and hurting them for my own gratification or to, I don't know, enhance my opinion of myself as superior and stronger. Let me tell you what a bully is. And let me tell you what I am. A bully is somebody that is usually in a position of strength. Remember back in middle school when all your little Tesla dorks got picked on? You had your little glasses and you had your Yu-Gi-Oh cards and your stick-thin arms and your stupid haircuts, bull-shaped haircuts. You guys probably had a bully. Some big, fat, strong, ham-fisted ape that would you know, come up to you, push you, call you a loser and a dork knock over your chess pieces, and steal your lunch money. And what that bully was doing was he was exerting his power over you for whatever reason, whatever dominance instinct he was acting on. He, he was unnecessarily, unjustifiably being cruel to you for no other reason than, than you're weaker than him, whether, you know, mentally, physically, whatever. Because bullies can be mental, too. You can have, like, a little person that just knows how to viciously talk trash. But anyway, a bully is somebody that exploits a weaker person and does so unwarranted for no reason whatsoever, okay? What is strong man personal finance? Do I just like find people on YouTube and just randomly start talking trash about them for no reason whatsoever? Is that what I, am I finding small channels and just poking the bear and making fun of them just because I can, because I know how to talk trash, I'm good at it. Or am I doing it for a legitimate reason. What I think I am is a mother effing hero! <laughs> no, I don't think I'm a hero. But I do think that I am justifiably going after very despicable people. I'm almost going after the bullies. I'm, I'm the bully of the bully. Now, these people on YouTube, they're not bullies per se. But what they are is incompetent frauds that will, over your investment lifetime, if you listen to them, cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm not, I am not joking in the slightest. Or even cost you a retirement altogether. The amount of evil degeneracy that is on the YouTube finance platform is out of this world. People like buying yield max funds and shilling those dividend investors that, you know, just chase yield, uh, growth stock investors that just buy stuff that goes up a lot. Every single kind of like financial degeneracy that will hurt your long-term returns and will reduce the quality and length of your retirement. These people are popular on YouTube. I mean, look no further than Meat Smoker Kevin or Jeremy LaFave. Meat Smoker almost, does he have 2 million? I think he's almost at 2 million subscribers. What does this clown do? He, look, he, he looks at the stock market every morning, looks at charts, buys Tesla, shorts Tesla, sells Tesla, does this, does that, blah, 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 blah. He's all over the freaking place. He's a clown. He's a massive freaking clown. <laughs> that's the kind of person that's on YouTube. And that's the kind of person that people are listening to. Nobody wants to hear, you know, the boring. I'm bored. I'm a, I'm a child the boring strategy of maxing your tax advantage accounts, staying the course, not performance chasing and buying total market index funds. Nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear the clowns. They want to hear the losers that will hurt you. You people get it? So when I make fun of Meat Kevin, I call him Meat Spin or Meat Smoker or Meat Gargler or you know Meat Thrust or whatever I freaking call him, whatever I feel like calling him that day. <laughs> meat Thrust. <laughs> Or if I make fun of Jeremy and I call him a fraud and a, I call him a foo-foo and I make fun of his voice, or whatever I do, that's not bullying because there's an underlying reason why I'm doing it. I'm not just doing it. I mean, like, okay, I probably wouldn't would bully Jeremy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just don't like him. 
<laughs> he's, he's like, he's just insane. But I'm attacking them because they are, I think, in my opinion, I think I'm very right on this. I think these people are toxic and they will hurt a lot of people. And it offends me to my core to see the, the levels of unbridled degeneracy that these clowns engage in. I think it's more it's morally disgusting. Like, it repulses me. It's like seeing a fat chick with warts on her face that, you know, you know, hits on you. It's like, no, go away. Ew. It's the same thing when I see... I'm sorry if you're fat and you have warts on your face, by the way. But... <laughs> <laughs> for the two women that watch my channel. But these people are wrong, okay? These people are evil, and I think they deserve a lot more hate than they get, in my personal opinion. So, no, I don't think I'm a bully, okay? You, you, know, you, can, you can have your stupid little opinions, and, you know, you think you're a financial genius because you started investing in your Robinhood account in 2020. You just know how markets work. I mean, you know how to have long-term success in the markets, okay? So that's my opinion. If you think I'm a bully, I don't care. If you see the truth the cold, hard, honest truth, and you appreciate me for my heroic defense against the clowns and degenerates, then um, consider subscribing. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Cheers.